I want to know if any of you guys have paranormal stories you want to tell. Do I have any paranormal stories? Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> I do. I mean, so many, but. Yeah, that's true. Leanne has a lot of experiences. Yeah. Do you want to tell us? I was born. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> Let's go. Tell us. Um, I don't really know. What... <laughs> wait, what did you say? Oh, wait. My computer's like blinking again. Oh, no. Is it the kind of thing, Leanne, where they like make themselves available to you or you have to like seek them out to hear what they're saying? Um, it just happens. I have no clue. It just is there. It depends like where I'm at. I try to keep them away from here. Like if I'm here, but it doesn't work all the time. Like there's this one thing that comes in every now and again. He's like harmless, but he is dressed like a plague doctor and he just like stands in the corner but he's not like threatening what? or anything and it's just, i don't know what? why it sounds or... threatening no he's not like i don't really see a lot of threatening things like demons and stuff aren't like people try to act like it happens so much but it's not that common if it's like an actual bad thing but i don't know he's not ha he's like harmless it's just weird and i don't know why it happens it's just random i love that leanne is like the most chill woman on the planet like even though you have why a are you <laughs> haunting your house you're like yeah. you chill? i don't know it doesn't <laughs> it's bother not me. evil um it bothers me like some places that i go it will just it just like depends what it is like you could tell if something's bad or yeah, it's I'm not, not like, an evil scared or anything. So I don't even remember the last time I was like scared um, about anything. But I'm not really scared of m much anyway, just like insects. Like I don't care if I die or anything like that. So I'm not really scared to do anything. I'm just like, I, I don't that. like bugs. Me too. So none of them are like scary to me. They're a just there. Landed on me when I was on a walk. I'm just used I to it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, no, that's very cool, Leanne. I I want to get to that place where it's only insects and, and I'm not afraid of anything else. Yeah, I just don't like that's do kind of crazy, readings though. and shit like that. I don't like that. I think it's wrong to do that. I don't know. If I if there's something coming through, I'll tell them for free. Like, I'm not going to make them pay. I think a lot of people that do that are just preying on people in grief, and I don't like that at all. So if I yeah. get something, I will tell you if I feel like it's important. Cause I don't know if people are going to be like, um, you're fucking nuts. Um, so they really have to be like pushing me to do it. So just depends, but I don't what like kind, readings and shit. What kind of a thing do you think would be worthwhile giving someone the heads up about? Like if it was a friend of yours or something. Mm. Well, the last time I did it, it was a stranger, which I fucking hate, but I did it because it was like about this necklace and this woman couldn't find it. And her grandmother kept pushing me. It was in Target. It was so random. And I was like, oh, my God, this lady's going to think I'm so fucking weird. Like, I hate doing it. But I figured it would help her life. So I told her where to find it. And I gave her my Facebook and told her to let me know, like, what happened. And she found it. And it really changed everything for her. So I was glad that I did it. But it takes a lot for me to do that. I don't like doing that because I don't know if they're, like, religious or they're going to be, like, weird or not Wait, leave it which i I'm totally confused. understand that too how, how do you do it like is it just like premonition or are you, are you doing tarot reading i like, just like you... see them i see them and i can hear them and it's forever since i was born i think oh, it's so you're I'm like psychic hmm? so you're like psychic i guess i think they call it a physical medium like the only reason why i ever started talking about it like uh in public or two people was just like a couple years ago because I talked to Amy Allen. She's on dead files because I was watching it randomly. And I was like, Oh my God, everything she does happens to me. So I like reached out to her on Twitter and she answered me and it like changed my mindset. So I just like talk about things now because it does help somewhat instead of just like keeping it to myself i just never wanted to say anything to my friends like things would happen but i didn't want them to have to make the choice to think i'm nuts or believe me because they're my friend so i just never mm. wanted to like do anything but shit used to happen all the time and they used to ask me if i was an alien and shit i'm like no that's fascinating i want to like talk yeah. to you more about this that's amazing 
Yeah, I, I just don't like when people like there's a lot of scamming ass psychics and shit. And I fucking hate mm-hmm. I hate that so much. It's so wrong to do that to people. So I'll just tell you for free, especially if it's about someone that's dead and you like love them. Like, why would I charge you for that? That's so weird to me. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I'll wow. just tell you. So you just go up to somebody and be like, "Look, I uh, this is gonna sound weird, but uh, yeah, I know, I know mm-hmm. that you're this person in your life is." Oh, I hate on. it. I oh. don't really do, you, do that ever. Do like, you I have just... to be in the physical presence of someone, or can you do it remote as well? Um, it's you're both. hoping for a reading, like sometimes you know? I can tell through videos <laughs> things about people. Um, it just depends, though. It just kind of happens. I don't really understand it. Or why it happens, or have you been wrong know. before? Hmm? Have you been wrong before? Never. Wrong? No, I mean, like, if you have a premonition, have you been wrong about it? Um, I don't really like tell the future or anything. So, but from what I can remember, I don't think like, I ever told anyone anything that wasn't true. Um, cause I like, won't do it unless I'm like pretty sure that I should do it. Um, but I don't really, like, I'll have dreams and stuff and I do have like, I always have this one dream the whole, like, since I was younger that the moon just kept getting closer and closer to the earth and it was like ginormous. So that like freaks me out. Cause like, I don't know why I keep having that dream and it feels really real. I'm like, is that going to happen? I don't know, but I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong many times. I just don't ever like talk to anyone about it. So I wouldn't know because a lot of stuff comes to me about people and I won't say anything because I don't know if I'm wrong. So I don't want to like do that and be like insulting or an asshole. So I just don't. It really has to be pushing me to do it because I don't, I don't know. If people don't believe it, I get that too because I wouldn't either if I didn't see it. I would be open minded to it, but. I'd be like, I need to see something, but I don't think you're lying and I'm open-minded, but I would just like need to see it. So I totally get why people don't believe it. It's cool. I totally believe it. And I believe it because it happened to me. And I was like, oh, and I did, I was not a believer when it happened to me. And I was like, then I met a real psychic Mm. who told me that I was going to meet the man that I, I was going to spend the rest of my life with. And it happened, like immediately. And he, she described him to a T. What? I, was a the, random person? Like it was like Ian pro- approached you in a store. Someone? No, like no, that, no. Or... This was this was like this was years ago. I was in Iran, and I it was my dad's like girlfriend at the time, and he had just met her, and she was in she was into like uh she was actually into like cafe readings. I don't know if you've ever like heard of that, but like coffee readings. So she did that. And uh, she did that for me and uh, like described my husband to be in like, like to a T. And like at the time I was like, she's crazy. Like, there's no way I'm 16. I'm never like, I'm not going to meet somebody like right now and like go and spend the rest of my life with this person. Uh, I went back to Canada within like two weeks of going back to Canada. I met my husband, my current husband. Now we started dating and then, Hmm. um, and we got married, but it was wow. uh, it, like it was him. It was him. It was really crazy. See, yeah, I, can't that, I was that. a believer. I can't, like, predict things or not. I usually just see spirits and shit. Like, um, and they'll like tell me things, but I don't know like lottery numbers and shit, which I don't even believe. Like, <laughs> Nothing Why small. aren't you winning then? Like, I don't know. <laughs> that happened to a friend of mine. My a friend of mine like dreamt of lotto numbers, and then she went and bought one, and then she won. What? Mm-hmm. I wish I could do that shit. Just will it in a dream. <laughs> We'd all be it's crazy. <laughs> I'll yeah, just fall asleep with a lottery ticket on my head. That's really neat. Okay, cool. Uh, wow. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.